1996 Mini Cooper Anniversary. So this is one of the special edition cars they did for the 25th, sorry, I'm lying to 35th anniversary of the Mini, uh, 1961 to 1996, hence the 96. Uh, this one is in one of the heritage colors, which is almond green, uh, with a lovely special edition porcelain green interior with some piping and a few other bits and bobs. Um, the, the anniversary has obviously got the sticker pack, which we'll show you in a second. Um, and quite a special interior, which is really, really nice. I'll show you that as well. Uh, this one was sold new in Japan, as a lot of these later injection minis were. A um, couple of the perks with that is obviously it doesn't see as much salt on the roads, generally a warmer climate, and they are a lot stricter on their car testing, so the cars tend to be better looked after. This one was brought into the UK in 2021, November 21, so it's been in 18 months or so, something like that. Uh, just had a fresh MOT on it. It is UK registered with a V5. Um, let's start by having a look at the bodywork. If we start on this driver's side, if we look all the way down, you can see the bodywork is nice and straight all the way down the side of the car. It's not full of ripples or filler or anything like that. That lovely chunky single white pinstripe all the way down, which goes with the wing mirrors, roof and bonnet stripes. On this front wing, one of the places you want to check is this seam here. Because uh, it is a bit of a corrosion hotspot, as you can see, that one's lovely and clean all the way around. No sign of any rust or anything coming through there. Rest of the wing, all lovely and clean and tidy. Inside the arch, obviously, you've got these plastic arch extensions, um, but inside there is lovely and clean. Up the metal bit. No sign of any corrosion in there. It's on the standard Cooper Mini Light style alloys. I believe it's matching Bridgestones all round, but we'll check. Loads of tread left on those. Lovely and clean on the wheels. Coming down this driver's side, and again, one of the things you want to check on a Mini is the sills. Sort of tends to be where the corrosion comes through. You can see on here, that sill lovely and clean all the way along. And we need to check these so that you've got open vents on the back side, which again leads you to believe that they could be original. Um, and again, going off that Japanese, no salt, no rust sort of thing, tends to be correct. Lovely and clean on the driver's door, no real marks to note there. We do have another seam down here which can be a bit of a rust hotspot, but as you can see, that one's lovely and tidy. On the rear quarter, all nice and tidy. We've got a very light scratch just there. But other than that, lovely and clean. Inside that arch, obviously, you can see rear subframe mounts and stuff there, lovely and tidy in there. You can have a good look from underneath as well. Very good wheel and Bridgestone tyre. This is part of the anniversary pack, obviously, the sort of Monte Carlo style um, sticker, but for the anniversary, so 35 years. So around on the back, you've got this seam cover here. Again, lovely and clean and tidy all the way around. Chrome bumper on the back, nice and clean. No pitting in that. Both rear tail lights are good. Another anniversary sticker down the bottom here. And then one of the places you want to look again is down here. Moisture trapped in there. You get a bit of rust, but as you can see, nothing coming through on this one. Rest of the rear end of the car, lovely and clean and tidy. As is around the rear screen. Um, there is a little bit of pitting on the top of the handle. Um, as is the, the sort of handle on the barge, all nice and tidy. Underneath the bumper, lovely and clean in there. You can see it's got a stainless exhaust on the back. It does make quite a nice noise. It's not loud or anything like that. But the sort of standard noise, really. Uh, now, normally, you have a little black plastic trim that runs around the gutters. It seems to be missing on this one. Um, the nice thing with the Mini is, because there is so many of them, they are probably Britain's most popular classic. Um... There is a lot of places you can get parts and spares. You can still buy a brand new shell. You can pretty much build a brand new Mini from what you can buy online. Um, it comes as a roll of plastic trim. It sits on top of that lip. Um, the nice thing is with it being missing, it's about 35 quid, I think. You can get a good look in the gutters and you can see they are lovely and clean all the way along. Like I say, I does want that little plastic trim on there just to finish it off. The roof itself, nice and straight. There is a little bit of, you can see it sort of pitting in the lacquer on the paint, but you do have to get right under the light and get right close up onto it to notice it, but it is there. Coming up this passenger side, if you look up there, you can see again, just nice and straight, straight as the other side. I've been clean around this end on this side. Nice and tidy on that wheel and tire. Another bridge stone there, so it's three out of four so far. And then we can have a look on the sill on this side again, open vents, lovely and clean all the way along. The rest of the floor, as you can see, Nice and tidy. Nothing to note on that little seam down the bottom there. 
Rubbly and clean on the passenger door. It makes for a very boring video, but it does make for a very good car. And then on the front wing, lovely and clean inside there. And your final wheel with Bridgestone tire. We do have one light scratch just there on the front wing. Um, but the seam itself, all the way around, lovely and tidy. On the front, chrome on that bumper, looks very good. As is the chrome around the lights and the grill. There's normally a dent somewhere in the grill, but this one looks to be perfect. Got the four Cooper lamps. Um, and then the 35th anniversary has got this sort of slightly retro style light with the old style braces in them compared to if we look at this sort of Cooper Sport by comparison you see clear light that one has the little braces in them which is a nice touch the bonnet all lovely and clean and tidy no ripples or dents there's not even a stone chip to note on that and then this bottom end and the scuttle where the screen meets all lovely and clean and tidy on there right moving on to the interior so for me this is what makes this car Almond green is one of my favourite colours on a Mini. Even better when it's with porcelain on the interior. Now the anniversary cars, which is these ones, got these lovely wider seats with the bolsters and the white piping. A normal car would have had just a plain seats, no piping, potentially almond green. As you can see, lovely and clean. A little bit of wear on the bolster there, but it is all nice and firm, nice and tidy. There's no funny smells in here. The anniversary's also got a leather steering wheel, very similar to the Monte Carlo editions, um, with the badge in the center, this one. Lovely and tidy, no real wear on that at all. Door card, all lovely and clean. And obviously these later injection cards have the larger dash. The lacquer has failed on the rear section of the dash, which it always does. You can, again, like I say, for the parts, you can buy those dash kits very easily nowadays. And it has had but you might be able to see there the column lowering kit which again is another common upgrade just to get the steering wheel a little bit lower depending on how you want to sit in the car it shows seventy-two thousand kilometers it's very rare we get much in the way of history from japan um, but if you check the description we'll detail what we know about it all the wiring and the and the casing is there for the stereo but it is missing the the, the head unit uh, and then one of the upgrades you do get on a japanese car air conditioning as standard from the factory very rare to find in a UK car because it was an expensive option, but in Japan, it was just there as standard. And then it's the back, lovely and clean and tidy. No real signs of any wear on that at all. Nothing there to whinge about. Pull the bonnet while we're here. Again, headlining, lovely and clean and tidy. Moving round into the boot. It is missing the boot carpet, but again, that's quite common on a Mini. They normally go walkabout. Um, you've got the smaller, spare wheel there in theory it should have a little mini light but it does have a mayfair wheel um still the same sort of rolling radius and everything so you could use it to get yourself home not a problem lovely and clean in here there's no sign of any corrosion on the inner wings or in the corners there all the plaques are where they want them to be i've been clean on the on the tail there and then into the passenger side both doors door cards lovely and clean as are the door shuts and then this seat, lovely and tidy, no real signs of any wear. Nice and firm on the top and the bottom. Top of the dash on this side, nice and clean. But like I say the lacquer has failed a little bit. This one was driven to us as well. It's been with us a couple of days now. Starts on the button, which we'll show you in a second. 1300cc injection engine, far more reliable than the earlier carburetor cars. But again, you can get just about every part you could possibly want for them nice and standard in there it hasn't had aftermarket air filters or anything like that fitted lovely and clean in there underneath you can see not dropping any fluid or anything on the floor we'll get it fired up make sure we put it in park rather than that that's gonna help isn't it and there you go fires up on the button Nice and smooth, no nasty rattles or anything. Nothing flying out the back. You can't hear just a slight little grumble from that exhaust as opposed to the to the standard one, but it, it is a nice sound. So there you have it. 35th anniversary Mini Cooper. Japanese import in almond green. If you've got any questions at all, please get in touch. Thank you.